In this video, we're going to do a comparison between the Blind Shell phone and the Lucia phone. Both phones were designed specifically for the blind and visually impaired. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible, and today I have both the Blind Shell and the Lucia phones, and we're going to do a side by side comparison. I've done a video on the Blind Shell phone, which you can watch down in the description, there's a link, or in the YouTube cards above. The Lucia phone is made by Raz Mobility, and it's also a very simple, accessible solution. And both of these phones were designed for those looking for a simple and accessible solution. Solution. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do videos on technology, encouragement, and resources for the blind, visually impaired, and sighted supporters. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more videos like this. So let's get started. I have the blind shell phone on my left and the Lucia phone on my right. So let's talk about what they both offer. Both of them have text to speech. So if I press here. Lucia is ready. 158, July 30th. And on the blind shell. 1355, Tuesday, July 30th, 2019, one of five. That's an example of their text to speech. I'll get more into the text to speech in a little bit. Uh, they also both have large print and you can change the themes for um, both of these phones. They both come GSM unlocked, so they're available with AT&T and T-Mobile and any GSM network. For both of them, you can call, use text messages, you can manage your contacts, make alarms, how you have a clock, you have um, an SOS button on the back for both of them. They have a headphone jack at the top and they're both expandable with micro SD card. Now the biggest difference is, is that the blind shell is 4G LTE compatible and the Lucia phone is only 3G. There's supposed to be a Lucia phone coming out in the um, later this year that's supposed to have a, a 4G LTE network and it's also supposed to have an FM radio, but I, again, I don't have a date. If you want to contact them about that, you can. Um, for the blind shell, it has a lot of different features. It has voice control, voice dictation. It has more than 20 apps. It has a camera where you can make um, image descriptions. It has internet radio, FM radio, object tagging, and it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. The Lucia phone does not have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or GPS, and it does not have a camera. So when it comes to the design, both of these phones have a screen at the top and buttons on the bottom. On the blind shell, all the buttons are on the front of the device, whereas the Lucia phone has the buttons um, in the front and also some on the side and on the other side are the volume controls. The blind shell is a candy bar look. It, it's very simple and rectangular, while the Lucia phone has, is wider at the top and it narrows down where the buttons start. The Lucia phone is also quite a bit bigger than the blind shell phone. If I put them together, it's both taller, uh, wider, especially at the top, and much thicker than the blind shell phone. It's feels almost double the thickness and um, part of that is the battery um, the lucia has a 3000 milliamp battery and the blind shell has an uh, 1800 milliamp battery both of them should last you for a few days though the blind shell because it has wi-fi and bluetooth and gps you probably will need to charge it more Another difference is that the blind shell uses a micro USB connector to charge the battery, which is at the top. And the Lucia phone uses a USB-C charger at the bottom of the phone. When it comes to the display, the blind shell seems to have a slightly bigger screen except that the blind shell has a more portrait mode for its screen while the Lucia is more in a landscape mode. So this actually allows the Lucia phone to have larger text because it's able to fit more characters across instead of the blind shell. And on the blind shell phone, if you do come across something that does not fit on the screen, 
it cuts off the word and puts it on the next line. Whereas the Lucia will make the font smaller so that it will fit on that one line. So for example, if I go into settings and right here it says sounds. And so sounds does not fit on one line because I have it in the larger text mode. And so it puts the S in the next line. On the Lucia phone, I am in the menu right now and I'm in groups. So groups is pretty large and if I press down, messages, it goes to messages and it actually decreases the font of messages so that it can fit on um, the whole word on one line. Also, the blind shell seems to be a little bit brighter, but the Lucia seems to have a little bit more contrast with the display. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick it up, but um, the screen has a bit of a backlight that you can see, whereas the Lucia, you can still see it, but it's Lucia's not screen. as July 30th. Uh, prominent. For the blind shell, the keypad light stays on while the screen is on. And for the Lucia, even when the screen is on, Lucia is ready. Two, you can 12, see July after 20. a few seconds, the <laughs> after like two seconds, the backlight just automatically turns off and I have not been able to find a setting that will change that. And also, there doesn't seem to be a way to control the screen timeout, how long it takes for the Lucia phone to turn off your screen. On the blind shell, you can control that in the settings. Now for how these phones feel, um, the blind shell, because I have a smaller hand, it does fit in your hand better and you can definitely use it one-handed without any problem. The blind shell, again, has all the buttons on the front and um, on the top left is the volume down, the top right is volume up. Under the volume down is the confirm or the call button and on the right under the volume up button it's the end call or the back button and in the middle of the top two rows is a four directional um, keypad with a select or confirm button in the middle and then it has one two three four five six seven eight nine star zero and pound on under that. Um, however, there's only a dot on the five. On the other hand, the Lucia phone has a much more tactile um, keypad and buttons. The call button, which is the top left button on the front of the device, is square and it's green and all the buttons have a white outline around them. The end button is circular and red. There is only an up and down arrow in the middle and in between is the OK Confirm button. Um, for some reason it has two dots on both sides and there is also a dot on the number five, the star and the pound. The operating system on the blind shell phone is based on an Android system while the Lucia phone is based on a custom Linux system. The blind shell has um, text-to-speech um, powered by Google and the Lucia has what appears to be similar voices to the iPhone, which is the vocalizer voices. And so you have Samantha and Tom and those voices to choose from on the Lucia. There are other voices for the Google text-to-speech, but I do kind of prefer the Lucia voices. However, when it comes to the user experience, the blind shell definitely uh, is a winner here. When you go through the menus, I'm going to open the menu on the Lucia. You press the select button in the middle at the Unlock. top row. I'm going to press the right arrow on the blind shell to go through the menu and the down arrow on the Lucia at the same time. Messages two of nine. Contact. You can hear how much delay there is on the Lucia. I'm gonna press it again. Contacts, Groups 9. More application messages. Form 9. Settings. I'll just press the button on the Lucia. Alarm. Call log. Contacts. Whereas on the blind shell, if you press right arrow. Settings. Information of manuals. No missed events. 8 of 9. You can also really see this when you dial number. So I'm just going to dial one, two, three on both devices at the same time. One, two, three. Dial number. One, two, three. 
So there is definitely a significant delay on the Lucia phone. I also want to show you the difference between the two locking and unlocking. So for the blind shell, you just press and hold the star key and on the Lucia phone, you move the slider up. So I'm going to try to do this simultaneously. Keypad locked. So to unlock them, for the Lucia, you just move the slider up. For the blind shell, you have to press the um, OK button in the middle on the top row and then press and hold the star button. So I'm going to try to do this um, at the same time. 1420, call one of nine. 1420, July 30th, 2019. So the blind shell is ready to go. Keypad unlocked. The Lucia is still sinking. Mm -hmm. It vibrates and now it's ready. Also because the blind shell has voice control and it has voice dictation, um, it's a lot easier to travel and navigate around the user interface. So both these phones also support multiple different languages, which you can check if your language is supported on their website. I will leave links down below and as for price, the Lucia phone is $299, whereas the blind shell is $349. Blind shell does promise free lifetime updates and the blind shell comes in black and red and the Lucia comes in orange, black and blue. Both of them are available now. Again, I will leave links down in the description if you guys want to learn more about these two devices. And if any of you have either of these devices or you're considering it, leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear more about it. If you guys have any questions about either the blind shell or the Lucia phone, definitely leave a comment down below or you can email me at carrie at liveaccessible.com and also let me know if there's any other products you'd like me to review. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.